Here is a simple induction heater. Uh, uses a IC chip to drive two IGBTs at the same time. Um, we've got two at the bottom, two at the top. Uh, they're used to uh, create the AC waveform, and the chip can be adjusted with a capacitor and a resistor to set a frequency. Um, to match the resonance bank over here. Uh, I initially had some re uh, capacitors in there for the resonance and the inductor but it was set too high so I had to put an additional couple capacitors in parallel to match the frequency that I'm working with which is 70 kilohertz. Um, <clears throat> we got the schematic here to show you how it works. Uh, there's the chip right here. So we've got a low and high signal. Uh, the low signal send a signal to both RGBTs over here, turn them on. Um, and then we'll turn on the top at a 50% duty cycle. Uh, we've got xenodiodes to protect uh, each of the IGBTs. The, and right here we've got the resistance and the capacitance. Uh, in the data sheet you're able to uh, select the capacitor resistor to get the frequency that you require. Um, Right here, we're heating up a screwdriver, and the temperature of that is 19 degrees. We're about to switch it on and see the rate that it's heating up to. So I've got two fans to cool the IGBTs. Uh, they will also be used to cool the rest of the components. So right here shows you it's going up. And I've got a thermal camera here to show the heating. It will heat up up until a point and it won't go any further. Uh, that is due to the power that you're supplying in there. You simply need to add more power, either voltage, or either increase the voltage or the amperage, and you'll be able to exceed that temperature. So right now we're at 70, yeah, 78, 79. And we're working with storing about 40 volts at 1.42 amps. Here's another look at the schematic. The capacitor is right in there. They can't handle too high of an amperage. Um, you're going to have to put more in parallel if you want to increase the current. So we're now at 104 degrees. This is what it's looking like in the thermal camera. Got an oscilloscope showing um, frequency. Yeah, 
Yeah, right now it's reaching probably its limits. It's very slow to rise up in temperature. It might reach 120 degrees, probably stay there.